All right, right now we're going to continue sharing how is the regional market trend and performance. This is the, we can see the S&P index stocks that are categorized by uh, sector and industry. And for each size, you see within the, within the box of each sector industry represents the market cap. So I'm going to start with, begin with the largest, uh, ma largest industry within the S&P 500, which is the technology sector. As you can see, for technology sector, it's quite red this morning, as if we can see as Open Microsoft is at negative 1.83%. And the latest news about Microsoft will no longer provide new drivers from printer manufacturers via Windows updates starting in 2025. The company has announced Microsoft says doing so will make Windows 11 even more secure. Up to now, printer manufacturers can have their drivers certified by Microsoft and Microsoft then distributes them via Windows Update starting in 2025. However, Microsoft will no longer accept new drives from manufacturers. Meanwhile, EU antitrust regulators are asking Microsoft's rivals and customers whether they are affected by the US tech giant's proposals to gain UK approval for its $69 billion acquisition of Activision Blizzard, sources close to the matter said. Microsoft's last month offered to sell its cloud streaming rights to Ubisoft Entertainment after Britain's competition and markets authority CMA blocked the biggest gaming deal in history. And that is Microsoft. How about Oracle? Who is down by negative two digits, negative 13.49%. And Oracle's shares plummeted 12% on, on Tuesday actually. Their steepest drop in over two decades after the software maker reported disappointing revenue and issued weaker than expected guidance. The last time the stock had a steeper percentage drop was a 15% decline in March 2002 at the tail end of the dot-com bust. The plunge on Tuesday resulted in Oracle's chair Larry Ellison losing roughly $18 billion in wealth. And of course, stocks under the software infrastructure follow suit the red trends. Meanwhile, how is for the performance for semiconductor, we can see NVIDIA this morning is up by negative 0.68%, which we can see the latest news about NVIDIA's supremacy in building computer chips for artificial intelligence has chilled venture funding for would-be rivals investors said, with the number of US deals this quarter falling 80% from a year ago. The Santa Clara, California company dominates the market for chips that work with massive amounts of language data. Generative AI models get incrementally smarter through exposure to more data, a process called trading. As NVIDIA has grown stronger, stronger in this area, the harder it has become for companies attempting to build competing chips. Meanwhile, eight tech companies including Salesforce and NVIDIA are signing on to the White House Voluntary Artificial Intelligence Pledge, joining a roster of prominent firms that have agreed to mitigate the risk of AI. As Washington policymakers continue to debate new regulation of the emerging technology. And now let's take a look at the internet content and information stocks, which the most that we have known is Google this morning is down by negative 1.21% which the latest and the recent news we can say about Google is set to square off Tuesday with the US government in the most important antitrust case in a quarter century, a trial that could weaken the internet's giant grip on the search market. Next, the Department of Justice alleges in its complaint to Google illegally pays billions of dollars to Apple, Samsung, LG and beyond to make Google the default search engine on smartphones and computers, shutting out rivals like Microsoft Bing and DuckDuckGo. The government also claims Google uses that dominance to charge advertisers higher prices and favours advertising on its own platform and steers advertisers spending towards itself. Google, which is owned by Alphabet, has long denied that it has excessive control of search, which we can see Meta is also down this morning as negative 1.92%. And we're going to go a bit on the Meta news, which has opened AI at the Google screen ahead in the ongoing Silicon Valley AI race, Meta, yes, the company that renamed itself just three years ago to go all in on the prior tech craze of the Metaverse appears more determined than ever to catch up. According to new reporting from the Wall Street Journal, Meta is secretly developing a powerful new AI model designed to compete with OpenAI's GPT-4, the most advanced iteration of the rival AI firm's large language model to date. Very little is known about the model, and as the WSG reports, the details of the AI, which as of now 
is reportedly intended to help other companies to build services that produce sophisticated tax analysis and other output may still be subject to change. And next, we go with the Apple who will launch iPhone 15. We can see under the um, sector of consumer electronics, Apple, unlike other companies that are attempting significant transformations with artificial intelligence, Apple is using the emerging technology to improve basic function in its new gadgets. Without using the words artificial intelligence to describe the emerging technology, Apple showcased a new line of iPhones and a new watch that include improved semiconductor designs that power the new AI features. And for Apple, we can see as of this morning, is down by negative. Scroll down a bit to see the numbers of Apple. Apple is down by negative 1.71%. And I would go to oil and gas, oil prices. Within, you can see the within the energy industry, oil and gas, we can see the boxes showing green. And about the oil prices jump about 2% to a near 10-month high on Tuesday on the tightest supply outlook. An organization of the petroleum exporting countries, OPEC optimism over the resilience of energy demand in major economies. Brent future rose 1.6% to settle at $92.06 a barrel, while U.S. tax West Texas intermediate WTI crude rose 1.8% to settle at $88.84. And we can start with one company at under the energy sector, Exxon Mobil Corporation, is up by 2.92% this morning. And that's all. Update. Keep tuning with us with Niaga Awani to get the latest market and regional trends and performance.